like the original high tiers before the meta started to shift. Oh yeah. It's oh, definitely yeah. a very like retro event so far. Hey, that's that Midwest hospitality. We're not trying to, well, we are trying to cheese mm -hmm. you, but with that old school cheese. You right, know? right, right. The, the cheese you're familiar with, <laughs> yes. you know, the devil you do know. All right, let's see if Eclipse can uh, shine a little bit more in this set here. Right now, getting the uh, almost double down air on Big M got a lot of mileage from these early combos into the back air, cleans up from Eclipse, and Big B just isn't ready for the speed at which Eclipse is playing. Yeah, and that's the issue is like Samus is a character that does kind of falter when you start amping up the speed and they're not ready for it. But that's the thing about Samus is that they can't control the pace. So Big B just needs to find that hit or find that distance between the two characters so they can like control this tempo, kind of rein it in. Oh, uh, Big B, I'm guessing maybe got tagged out of his jump. Didn't really fight back on that recovery. Didn't see an attempt on like, you know, bomb jumping or anything of that nature. Just kind of threw the stock away. Uh, not a good precedent to set in the beginning here, but maybe you can find something with his ledge trap because Falco really struggles getting back on stage against Samus. Yeah, and I mean, Oof. even doubly slow here, side because this is loser's side. So if you're not familiar with double elimination brackets, this is their last life to say. Um, and it, they're, both players have to kind of play in dire straits here. Yes, for sure. And you can definitely tell that Big B is like maybe finding some straight hits here and there, but just really getting over uh, overrun at this point. Yes. Um, even kind of like trying to find a moment to breathe just to charge that charge shot. That's something that we haven't really seen very much, and that is just such a powerful tool from Samus. Yes, of course, it can be reflected, but you still control so much neutral. You still get so many confirms out of it. It's better to at least try and implement it in your game plan, yeah. because without covering that ground speed, that's how you get moments like this with the clips. Yeah, and man, just a lot of things are happening to Big B that you don't like to see. And you can see Eclipse is just starting to try to play around with that uh, like that cancel on the uh, up beat. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes it feels like it has zero lag and it actually does. Yeah, it, it, it's it's also got like a giant hitbox at the very end of it too. Mm. But yeah, Eclipse is comfortable. He's going for like fun, saucy movement tech. He yeah. just looks very unbothered by everything in Big Beast kit. Doesn't get the punish with that uh, up smash kill, but yeah, still three socks up and just sitting pretty. Yeah, and now you can see Eclipse kind of just throwing out the KO moves, but there goes that space back air. And Ooh! Oh my Goodness! <laughs> Crazy We're, reaction right there. And yeah. a really weird angle on the down air. No one was ready to take that. I don't think I would have reacted either. So Eclipse going to start us off with the JB2. Yes, keeping it fast and flowing. Eclipse is like, you're not even going to have time to adapt because we're just flying all across the stage, you know? Falco not really known as a flightless wow. bird, but man. That was a very, very late down air, too. Let me run that back real quick. That was... Forward a little bit. Yeah. Boom. It yeah. lingered for <laughs> so long. So you can tell Eclipse Auto was over. That's, that's just an un unfortunate draw right there. But going to Battlefield, not a bad Samus stage, but also a very good Falco stage. Like, I play Mario, and I'm sometimes scared to take Falco to Battlefield. It's, it's rough out here. Yeah, he, he cooks here with these, these platforms. But of course, Samus does. But we haven't seen any of like, the big explosive combos from Big B just Hello? yet. And uh, we're really going to need to see him kind of like getting that back because just going blow for blow for Falco is a recipe for disaster because yeah. he just gets so much out of every straight hit. Oh, no. Okay. Side. <laughs> yeah. That was that was almost rough right there. I love, I love when people do that. Go for the up throw and like wave land on the platform and bait that air dodge. Yeah. I love doing that. I love seeing it. Uh, definitely keeps your opponent on your toes. Yeah, he got a lot of damage here but still kind of struggling to like get order, like control the match, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It... It, Big B probably feels a little bit more in this game, but things are slowly but surely falling out of his hands. Just needs to kind of keep this pace at where it is right now and then find that KO option. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that is rough on the psyche. The very first charge shot he goes for gets reflected, so <laughs> he's got to take that mental note and just be like, he's either going to go, see, I knew it wouldn't work, or he's just going to have to, like, kind of dig his heels in and try to find better places for it. Yeah, it's like, oh, that was a bad charge shot. Uh, I can find my spots better. All right. All right. Okay. Big B definitely fighting back here. Got himself a little bit of a lead. Going to recover very well around Falco for sure. And he's definitely slowed the pace down. Ooh. You can tell Eclipse is looking for him to like panic jump or like roll in, but Big B's just not giving it to him. Samus is in control of the pace. And that's when her game plan is like crazy, when it's just a little bit slower mm -hmm. and she can just like smother you out with like charge shots and her aerials. And Oh, wow. That had to be just a little bit late on Big B's part, and now you're eating a whole bunch of damage here, sitting on that top platform, which you really don't want to be when you're playing against Falcon. 
get. And as soon as that lead started, Eclipse pretty much got everything tied up in just a few moments here. Uh, Big B just kind of watching this ball out of his hands, unfortunately. Okay. Stanky leg, F tilt there, but oh man, immediate grab right back. The missile is crazy. <laughs> Point blank missile? <laughs> like, don't think I won't do it. Like, I got the Thule. Yeah, exactly. I'll let it sit. <laughs> like, He's trapped with that thing. Oh, right. no. Oof. And that was so well placed. The way he, like, kind of ducked under all the different projectile angles Big B could have gone for for that fair was just really, really smart from Eclipse. And using Battlefield to get a giant Ooh. combo 74% immediately after. This is definitely looking like his game to win. Yeah, keep your eye on the blast zone here, Psy, because Eclipse is cooking and is trying to send Big B there in just a second here. Yeah, Oof. Big B. I mean, he has okay. an opportunity with the up throw. It does kill. 93% is a pretty good amount of damage to have to, like, work back up. But if he just stays really patient and is just looking for, like, whiff punishes against Eclipse, he might have a shot here. But he just can't take any risk anymore. Okay. That's a good starter. Unfortunately, Samus just sometimes doesn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Fair is like, it's crazy because the hitbox is so big, but also sometimes you just kind of fall out. So it's, yeah. it's definitely like a chaotic move. But yes. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Super yeah. smart play from Eclipse. Covering oh, all the tech options. Yeah. I just, I, I really think, a, I think Big B could have lived that. Yeah, Samus is a bit chunky, and it, it wasn't like a crazy amount of balloon knockback. It just felt like we soared to the blast zone and then maybe did something to shift ourselves into the blast zone. Uh, a little bit of a tough ending there for Big B because it felt like Big B was starting to put together an offense, you know, finding some stocks, finding a rhythm. Um, like you can see here, takes the first stock with a nice ledge trap. Uh, but, you know, fortunately things just did not go the way of Big B. Yeah, he was in such a good spot, and then he just got cutscene to hell immediately after. And then you can tell, like, Eclipse is just like, all right, I got all that. That forward air. Let me look. Oops, sorry. Let me run it back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That forward air. That was oh. just. Ah. That was just really, really rough right there. Really kind of got rocked. Really just like forced Eclipse to just. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That dip down. Woo! <laughs> Hate to see it. Just. That was just super smart. So, super smart. Um, really, really good presence of mind from Eclipse. I feel like not only was the aggression really good, but he definitely knew uh, when Big B was going to respond in disadvantage. Just she had him locked in. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that's he what we call a spot out of there. Read, yeah. The SpaceX punish right there. Yes, just indeed. Sent up there. But, uh, yeah, that oh, coverage yeah. on and the that side beam, that was really smart. There was just nowhere for Eclipse to go. And, yeah, you see that fair right there in the blast zone? Yeah. I think if he had jumped, he could have lived that. But I, I, just didn't know what to do. Got a little overwhelmed right there. Oh yeah, we're we're soaring. You see our little blue, mm -hmm. a little blue dot there, still on the screen. And yeah. just check it, see if when it actually ends up going off. And oh, let me clear that for you. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're literally right there when the balloon knockback stops, and then our blue diamond disappears the very next frame. Tragic. Oh, oh, I'm on camera. Oh, hi. Looking at me. Hey. Hello. Hello. Uh, well, guys, that is going to do it for the first block of pools. Yeah. Uh, if you liked or had any commentate, uh, any things to say to me about my commentary, good or bad, hopefully good, uh, definitely feel free to hit me up on Twitter at PBLK. Uh, any sponsors out there, I am booked, busy, and blessed, but I need a sponsor. So Ooh. if you're watching this and you're like, dang, who's that guy with the cool sweater? Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, also, if you're an anime nerd, which I know you are, uh, feel free to check out my anime podcast, Shonen Chumps. Drop a couple episodes every month. We have a lot of fun. We talk about you know what's current. We're definitely about to like really cook on the live action avatar the last airbender because that is Ooh. just a travesty so check us out on all streaming platforms spotify apple music that's shonen chumps s-h-o-u n-e-n chumps and i'm going to be signing off big m what would you like to say to the people yeah i mean speaking of sponsors i recently got one my boys at let me fly gaming here let them fly um, let them fly we love supporting the local scene and um, i'm very excited to work with the team uh keep your eye on let me fly as we are going to start doing a lot of content here we have a great group of players including dead space Rocky Balboa. We even signed on Rister Mice to kind of help in that content flow. We're going to start doing some big things here in KC and really put ourselves on the map. So keep an eye at just keep an eye on us at Let Me Fly Esports and uh, at the biggest dam if you want to follow me in my endeavor. So I really appreciate all the support. And we're here just to play Smash, and I'm excited for what Full Bloom has in store. 
For sure. Well, guys, thanks for rocking with us. We'll have your other catches up here in just a moment. Don't go nowhere. We have a lot more action for you. Stay tuned, but we are signing off.